Hello guys, my name is Swami Chajaddi and today I am going to show you how can you prove that the area of a circle is pi r square. Let's start the next step. The procedure is we draw a circle on a paper and cut it out. The next step is going to be we have to divide the circle into 8 equal parts. Our next step we will be we have to cut out the circle into 8 equal parts. The fourth step is we have to arrange the pieces as shown in the image. The next step is we cut the left out piece from the middle into two halves as shown in image. Now we have to arrange the cutouts in the form shown in image. We can observe that it resembles the structure of a rectangle. We observe that the circumference of the circle has been converted to twice the length of the rectangle and the radius of the circle has become the breadth of the rectangle. Thus, length equal to half to pi r equal to pi r, breadth equal to r. Now, area of circle equal to area of rectangle equal to length into breadth equal to pi r into r equal to pi r square. Hence, we proved our claim. Hi, I am Shruti and today I am going to show you my maths project based on circle theorem 1 and theorem 2. So without any further waste of time, let's begin it. So here is my project I have made. So in theorem 1 it has been told that equal chords of a circle subtended equal angle at the center. And here I have shown that equal chords of a circle subtended equal angles at the center here here it is a 360 degree protector and 10 centimeter scale which i have drawn now in the, it has been proven in first theorem now theorem 2 angles subtended by chords of a circle at the center are equal then chords are equal that means angles angles subtended by chords of a circle at the center at are equal means all the angles are equals as you can see here angle a o b c o d are equal. That's all. It was my project. Thank you for watching.